everybody, so today this video is going to be me talking about how I clean my belly button piercing. This was requested by a few people, so I figured why not do it just to help you all out. I did post a all about my belly button piercing video, which I will put in the box below if you want to check that out, where I briefly talk about how I cleaned it and took care of it, but I guess you guys wanted something more detailed, so that's what this video is going to be all about. So to start is everything that you will need to clean your belly button piercing and get it nice and healthy is um, just some sea salt and you've seen this several times in my videos it's just an instant ocean um, sea salt and then this is I really like to use it's just H2 Ocean you can get it off Amazon if you want to check this out I will put a link where you can get this for a good price below um, you will also need a Cup, just a simple little clear plastic cup like that some hot water so a sink obviously some antibacterial soap which I'm just using this generic one but in a couple days I will be ordering a antibacterial soap called Provon which is supposed to really help um, heal piercings because it is for piercing so it's like a piercing antibacterial soap just for that stuff so I will be trying that out and if you want to try it out yourself, I will put a link where you can buy it below also with the H2 Ocean. Um, I forgot to mention, okay, another thing that you'll need is just some Q-tips, some clean Q-tips from, you know, you can, you can get like a box of like 250 of them for a dollar at the dollar store, so these are also really good to have as well. Okay, so for those of you who just got your belly button pierced, you know that the first few days your belly is going to be sore where you were pierced, it's going to be tender. You know you're gonna it's gonna hurt to bend over it's gonna hurt to do things so just get through those first couple of days of soreness Another thing that I really wanted to mention that's very very critical to your new piercing is to never ever take out the ring and change it before it's time you should not be changing the ring for at least six months to a year whatever you were pierced with that belly button ring needs to stay inside your belly button if you take it out and change it your body is going to be like whoa and then you could run the risk of infection because that's what happened to me I took it out at six months which you can but my body wasn't healed yet at that time so it just it was just a disaster to do so just it's best to just hold off on changing it don't take it out for at least six months to a year is what I would say um some other tips for belly button piercings is don't wear tight clothes like tight shirts uh, don't touch it or play with it because it just needs to heal don't be like playing with it stuff like that just leave it alone and let it heal um it's going to be difficult to sleep and if you are a stomach sleeper i would advise maybe putting a band-aid over it just to keep it safe at night but you're definitely not going to want to sleep on it because it'll mess it up it'll bleed it'll pus it'll be really sore so just try not to sleep on your stomach and if you can't help it and you absolutely have to just put a band-aid over it so it stays in place and it's safe so throughout the day, I have I got my belly button pierced two years ago and I had no idea how to clean it because you know I had never had another piercing besides my ears. So this this piercing was so new to me I had no idea what I was doing. So what my piercer told me to do is at night to clean it with antibacterial soap. Just put some on your hands, wash your hands first, rinse it off, and then put a little bit more on your hands, get it so it's in a nice lather and then lightly scrub like I will show you if you can see my belly button but just take your finger and just lightly go like this go underneath it push it up gently if it's new and go like around it and then just push it back down and rinse it off um, I hope you guys can see that okay um, so that's the best way to clean it with antibacterial soap in the shower and then throughout the day, what I find is really helpful is the H2 Ocean. Like if you're still in school and you take a bathroom break, bring this with you to the bathroom, grab some toilet paper or something, or like I'm gonna show you, use a Q-tip. If you're at school, just go into the bathroom and do this, no big deal. Just take it, spray a little on the Q-tip, like that. And then just take your belly button, which I hope you can see, and just wash around the piercing like that so it gets all nice and clean and then after you've done that 
Um, don't wipe it off, just let it sink in on its own because if you wipe it off then there was really no point in doing that. So that's what, that's what I would do during the day. And maybe like once a week or so my piercer said it is okay to use hydrogen peroxide on it. Again, just put a little on a Q-tip and just dab around it. Um, he said it was perfectly safe, but don't do it too much because a belly button ring is a surface piercing. So you don't want to overdo it because um, surface piercings heal with your own bottle, bodily stuff. So, And the hydrogen peroxide will kill that, so don't use it too much. Um, most of you won't even use it at all because you've heard so many horror stories about hydrogen peroxide and piercings. So, I mean, if you do want to do it once a week is fine, but don't use it too much and don't drench it in hydrogen peroxide. And three to four times a day, just clean it throughout the day just to make sure it's clean and get all the crusties off and stuff like that. When you do clean it and you need to get like the top, gently push it up. You don't want to just like what I did because I've had mine forever. You don't want to just jam it up, just lightly push it up, let it ease its way up and then do spray that. Um, in the shower, I already said, clean it with antibacterial soap. I already showed you how to do that. Um, again, I made another list, so I make sure I get everything that everyone asks. So, <laughs> a different kinds of antibacterial soap. You don't want to get anything that's scented, because that will infect it. You want to get just a clear, unscented antibacterial soap. A really good one that I've heard about is called Provon. I talked about it in my Monroe video and a couple other of my videos, too. And it's just an antibacterial soap, but it's actually made and formulated for piercings. So it's supposed to work really good. I haven't tried it yet, but I do plan on ordering it soon. So I will try that and let you guys know how it works. So that, that, that would be a good one to get. I will put links where you can get that and the H2 Ocean below if you want to see where you can get that and try it out. Another thing that is really helpful is doing sea salt soaps with your new piercing. Um, my piercer said this was really great for infection. If you have a belly button infection, this is an awesome remedy for it. And while it's healing, you can do this. Once a week, you are going to want to do a sea salt soak, either before you go to bed or on a weekend or something, at least one, one to two times a week. You can do it two times a week, but definitely for sure do it once a week. And what you're going to want to do to make the sea salt is you're going to want to take the plastic cup that I showed you, then take your sea salt, like this, and then on the inside I have a spoon already in there. So what you're going to want to do then is take about one-fourth of sea salt onto your spoon. So it, this spoon's been in here, so but about maybe like this or half of this. I don't know if you can see, but you know, something along those lines. Take your cup put it in the cup like that and then what you're going to want to do is go to a sink and turn on the hot water and get it as hot as you can stand it and then after you've done that kind of swish it around so it gets all nice and mixed up and then comes the hard part it took me a few times to do this but you might have a couple water spills but the best way to soak your belly button piercing is to simply stand up like this take the cup full of water and sea salt Start to go like this, and then as you're laying down, push it up against your belly button like that. So it's laying completely 100% flat. And then you're going to want to, after you've done that, you're going to want to let it sit for about 10 minutes. And then after you're done, you can just rinse it off. It's not a big deal to do once a week. It, if you want your belly button piercing to heal, I would recommend doing this sea salt soak. It's really beneficial. It really helps. It cleans it keeps it healthy and it also feels really good too because you can like feel it cleaning and it's just really nice it's a really nice feeling some tips that I have for you to if you have your belly button pierced is to always wash your hands before you touch it of course that's a big one um, and avoid any rough activity like you know try not if you I don't know how to put this if okay if you have sex try not to have too much friction on the belly button piercing because that will irritate it, turn it red, make it bleed, all that nasty stuff. Um, mine took a very long time to heal. Mine took over a year to heal. So you just have to be really, really patient and make sure that you are cleaning it. Everything that I showed you is exactly how I cleaned mine, except I don't have the hydrogen peroxide, but it's no big deal because a lot of you probably won't even use that anyway. But everything that I showed you is exactly how I clean it and it works for me and my belly button piercing is top notch today it's healed perfect perfectly fine something that i would recommend is when you do change it for the first time 
I wouldn't go straight for the big dangling ones. I would go for just a regular size, simple barbell belly button ring and then work your way up. Don't just jump right into the big, you know, chandelier belly button rings because um, that might cause like irritation because it had like this little, it had a barbell in for like six months and then you just throw this big dangling one on there. So just try to work your way up, don't rush it. If you have dogs or kids, this is gonna be a big problem because they might try to bite or grab on them and pull on them and that can really run the risk of infection. So just try to keep them away from it for as long as possible. If they do happen to tug or bite on it, just clean it really quick, it's not a big deal. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really had fun making it and showing you how to clean everything. This is exactly how I do it and it really works for me. So I hope it works for you too. If you have any further questions, you can go ahead and leave me a comment. But until then, I will see you very soon with more videos. Bye, guys.